guess what we heard last night? Guess what I heard last night? We got up to go to the bathroom and right outside the window, coyotes howling, guys. It's coyote season. Janelle hears everything. But we have a plan. We have a plan on what we're gonna do. Okay. The good news is we have two mean old dogs that are now officially sleeping out in the pasture. I don't know about mean old dogs, but they're <laughs> big old dogs. They definitely bark at anything that comes by and then they're pretty good with the chickens. Sometimes Casper gets a little bit excited if they run, but he seems to stop himself, so he's good. He's protective of our yard, so I think a coyote would be in trouble if they came over. He would bark really loud. A coyote or a smart-nosed coyote? Both. <laughs> okay. He would bark so loud because he would be trying to protect his yard because he does not like intruders. No, he doesn't. And so he's a good, nice, aggressive dog. He Salem pees everywhere just like that. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wonder if that's part of it. Yeah. I swear ever since we got Casper and he's been out in the pasture with us a lot, we haven't had any coyote instant incidences. So I'm guessing that maybe the male urine is fending them off. He pees all around the property and I think that that has helped. So, we've got the dogs, we've got a male dog now. Well, we have one more thing that I looked up which is what you're supposed to do if you have coyotes. Okay. Get out is it of not here. working? You want a flashlight. Oh, turn on the flashlight. Is it the AM that will just go constantly? Okay. So I've heard that if you put a talk radio going 24 seven, that that will deter coyotes as well. I'm doing double protection because I have really nice baby goats. I don't want anybody to get hurt. I have really nice adult goats that could still get hurt. So we're gonna leave that out here. Where are we gonna hang it though? Probably should do zip ties. Spanish is best for coyotes because they do speak Spanish. They do. So at the very back of the property, Kevin built me this nice fence and we have this whole canal behind us where we do irrigation. We've seen the coyotes come jump over the fence from over here. So we know they come from this area. And we've looked into doing those coyote rollers or a hot wire, but guys, are, it's so long. There's so many feet of fence. It would be way, 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 way too expensive. So that ain't happening. So we got a Casper coyote roll. We did. <laughs> and he rolls really good. See, Luna, you listen to this for 24 hours a day. You'll know Spanish in just a few weeks. Okay? <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. We got double protection. Right, doggies? We also didn't get livestock guardian dogs because we live in the city and we didn't really want to annoy our neighbors with them barking all the time. These dogs are more just general protection dogs. So they're bred for protecting properties and protecting people. They may not live with the goats like 24 seven, but they'll definitely bark at anything that comes on the property. They have so far, so. And they do love the goats. They just also like to live with humans. I don't know if you're this. Uh, it's saying your bend is shown that your blessings will come from heaven and you will be saved. Good. She's also, <laughs> she'll also be converted to something. Perfect. Willow doesn't even care. Not even on the stump either. She's in the bin. So we're good now, guys. We don't need to worry about coyotes anymore. Even if I hear them howling, I'm just gonna sleep right through it because we're fine, right? That's good, because you hear everything at night. I do, I'm kind of an, a worrier. I just, I'm a light sleeper and I worry at night, so I'm not gonna worry anymore. We've got good protection. <laughs> Kevin always says I'm like the fairy tale, the princess and the pea, because I'm really picky about my mattresses. I'm sorry, I just haven't had very good experiences with those memory foam ship to you mattresses. They're way too hard, way too hot, especially in the summer. They take forever to expand and I'm sorry, they just have a weird smell. But I'm so excited because today I'm gonna share with you guys our favorite mattress. It's affordable, it's comfy, 
it's nice and cool and it's not smelly. <laughs> Brooklyn Bedding is a local factory here in Arizona that ships all over the US. They've been in business for over 25 years and they know mattresses. The best part about them is because they own their own factory, they can get premium materials for a way lower cost, cutting out the middleman and you getting the best mattress possible. Each mattress is custom made depending on what you like and they offer lots of different firmness options and heights even non-traditional sizes so that you can find the right mattress for you. Okay, here are my requirements. I need a king. I need lots of space to spread out when I'm sleeping. I also need a pillow top so it's nice and comfy. It can't be a memory foam pillow top and I need it to feel comfy enough that it's hugging me when I sleep but that I'm not sinking into it or you know rolling towards the middle. I'm a back sleeper, Kevin's a stomach sleeper so we needed something that you know would work for both of us. So we went with their most popular Aurora Lux cooling mattress in a king with medium firmness. It has a combination of an 8 inch coil design with a 0.75 inch high density foam base which adds durability without the heat. And we also added the cloud pillow top. They have this technology called Glaciotex Cooling, so it removes all of the excess heat from your sleeping surface, leaving you cool and comfortable all night long. It's actually cool to the touch, so every time you get in the bed, it's nice and cool. That's what we want. The scariest part about buying mattresses online is what if you don't like it? What if you ship it to your house and it's the worst thing ever? Well, Brooklyn Bedding has a 120 day sleep trial, so you have plenty of time to decide if you love it or not. They have a lot of other perks too. Every mattress is delivered right to your door free of charge anywhere in the US. There's also a 10 year warranty and all of their mattresses do not contain fiberglass, which can be harmful to your health. We love our Brooklyn Betty mattress and I think you guys will too. So if you're looking for a new mattress but you don't want something crazy, outrageous, expensive, this is a good option. And you'll also get a discount if you use our code. You can click on our special link in the description to get 25% off all mattresses. So thank you to Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring. We're really excited to work with an Arizona-based company. Visit brooklynbedding.com slash Weedem to get 25% off your new mattress. I was overconfident, guys. We'd been catching the rats that have been eating our feed. We stored our feed in a shed, locked it up. So far, that's good. But little does Danelle know when she's starting her spring cleaning that she's about to find the biggest rat's nest <laughs> ever. So I'm starting a series where I'm gonna start cleaning little bits of the farm, just getting things organized and ready for the hot season when we don't want to be outside working on chores like this. And this little porch area always gets cluttered, but I was able to get it nice and organized. Everything was going good, no problems. And then I moved to the deck. Now this is mainly where we store all of our pond toys and supplies. So doggies were helping me just kind of <laughs> Get this organized, getting all the things thrown away. And here's where I start to pull down the pillows. Everything's good. Those are the pillows that Casper and Salem have chewed up. These are old towels that were left out that need to be rewashed or maybe tossed out. But then guys, I opened the cabinet and look what was in here. Now I didn't realize this right away. So here I am just starting to clean it out. Right, look, guys, look at that rat. Look at its face, it's huge. I had no idea, I'm just cleaning it out. I'm gonna take everything out and reorganize it. And then it was right here, right here, where I saw a bunch of them scurry. And I was like, there's no, no, there's no way. So I get Kevin to come out and help me. And guys, look. Okay, sorry, we're kind of in the way of the camera. Look when he moves this, watch. There was like, there's... come on dogs, come, come. Come, 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 come. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The 
dogs went crazy and Kevin's trying to egg them on so that they can actually get them. But yeah, oh my gosh. One even jumped into the pond behind me and then scurried under the deck. Oh. So, yeah, the rats, we did not take care of the problem yet. We've got to we've got to get rid of these guys. So many, Kevin. So after all the heebie-jeebies were gone, I finished organizing the cabinet and we've got everything all nice and clean. Every little tote has their own label. Then I made sure that this closes all the way. That way the rats aren't gonna get in. There weren't any other holes. It just hadn't been closed all the way. So now it's closed. Rats are gone, like 10 rats. Oh guys, it was so bad. So I finished cleaning the deck, got that half of the porch clean. Just have one more thing to do. One more thing see it's natural only the best for our rats <laughs> yes. put some in here i cannot believe you what? you want me to show you how to catch mice Kevin. holy garbage they don't want to come out in the open. They don't well, want to. Well, that's the hole they're going under the deck, so you have to put one right there, Kevin. Please, for me, Okay. Oh, yeah. You can do an experiment, and you put one where you want, and I put one where I want, and I'm totally going to be right. <laughs> the next morning. Well, well, well. I guess Kevin was right, guys, because we caught one big rat last night and one wet rat because it was out, got caught out in the rain. Mm -hmm. And there's probably like 10 more in there. Those traps have worked really well though. Uh, we probably caught, that's, I think that's our 12th rat. Caught 12 of them. That's crazy. Dogs the dogs are going nuts. He's <laughs> like, more than our cat. The cat doesn't do anything. Well guys, back in September, I thought this spot was a lot sunnier and I guess it was back then, but throughout the winter, looks like it got too much shade or maybe I didn't thin my carrots good enough. And today we are harvesting baby carrots, <laughs> which are still good, still edible. We're gonna make something from them. So I'm gonna harvest what I can. I planted two varieties, the Nantes and the Cosmic Purple. So that's why you see these purple colors here. But today we're just gonna bring them in. I'm gonna give them a really good wash, even though it's a little bit tedious. And then I'm gonna keep it really simple. We're just gonna cut them up, steam them, and eat them with salt because fresh homemade carrots are the best things in the world. If you haven't ever tried them, you gotta run to your farmer's market and get some because they are so good. Sometimes simplicity is best and that's definitely how it is when it comes to carrots. I wish they were bigger, but they're still edible and we can still use them. So we'll throw them in our steamer on the stove, let them steam for about 15 minutes or so, top it with salt and they are such a good side dish. Just as is, just like that, so good. Winona is just, she's so nice to serenade us, you know. I think, she, I, think I remember her. Oh. Yeah, she's done. So she can go back. Kitty can go back. Welcome to Tattoo Day. Now, I've already done a bunch of them as they've gone to their new home. So, I really just have three left. The three that we're retaining this year. And. The fourth one was already DNA'd, no. The fourth one was already tattooed by her previous owner, by the breeder. So we just have three, and I'm gonna show you how we do it. It's really fun. But we tattoo them because it's required when they are registered, even if you do a microchip, which is kind of the new thing that people have been doing, they still have to have a tattoo. They would have that and a microchip. But I haven't got to that yet. I haven't decided if I wanna start microchipping, so I'm doing my tattoos. So I've got, our herd name tattoo on this on this one we're gonna do all of the right ears get those out of the way all right if you want to pick them up then i can um clean off their each of their right ears first all right clean ears first 
She is a nibbler. She is. She likes to nibble. And she doesn't like and clean want their ears. ears clean. Just clean both ears. <laughs> that is a dirty goat ear. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Wow. Oh it's because it got cut for some reason it's leaking. Oh. It's so annoying. Okay. Let, me, let me pet you. Okay. Gotta try to go right, not run to you. Come over here. He's having trouble. Oh, look, she's got some horn growth. You gotta get rid of that. How come you got some horns growing? One, two, three. Ah. Messy. You're doing good. Okay, put her down. She's real messy though. Clean ears. Okay, put her down. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm gonna get ink on you. That's okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That was easy. <laughs> I know. It makes such a mess. Look at her. I normally I cover it with little band-aids, but we didn't do that today, so this is what she's gonna look like for about a week. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right guys, thanks for joining us in today's video. We've got coyotes and rats and all sorts of things that we're trying to keep off the farm. <laughs> and still got some baby goats to raise up and train. We've got showing coming up and then I gotta start my cheese making for the year. So it's gonna be a busy month full of fun things.